Hi friends, just a little a quick video, quick tip to show you uh, why sometimes you get this kind of um, angular motion blur, but you, that's what you want. Uh, so when you have an object which is uh, moving in a curved fashion, um, on the preview sometimes you will get this kind of rendering let me turn off my camera uh, here this is just a simple bowl which is turning around a null axis and as you can see the motion blur looks weird because octane is just interpolating the motion between the the two previous frames actually here so uh, back to the beginning uh, no, uh, straight to the to to the point. Um, if you have something like this on the preview, this is not really an issue. You can get something great on the final rendering just by going to the Octane renderer options, and here it is: the time samplings per frame for the motion blur. If your object has um, an octane object tag with motion blur turned on here with transform uh, if you set the render with the default value this is what you get and if you want sub sampling you just need to uh, elevate the time sampling per frames to something like five six seven eight it depends on the shutter time of your camera and now the final render looks nice so that's the point now uh, if you want to get into some details uh, follow me so let me just copy the sphere and the light into a new scene here they are so the light is actually uh, not visible on the viewport that's okay my sphere let me yeah uh, just this sphere which is uh, under the your key of the null rotation because here my null object is rotating from frame 0 to frame 25 let me turn this scene down to 100 frames all right <clears throat> so if i open the live viewer i will get the default um camera setting view let me turn off the alpha channel all right so there is no motion blur at all actually so first things first go to the sphere right click extensions octane tags and add an octane object tag this little green sphere and now under the the attributes you have the motion blur uh, section with the transform uh, activated so you can disable the motion blur for the object you can activate it if this is an object that is not the if the shape of your object is not changing in time you can just use the transform it will just use the the motion of the object to uh, calculate the motion blur if your object is an is an object that is uh, with a shape that it's that it's changing over time like a balloon that is um, compressed on the ground you will need to use the transform vertex mode because the motion blur will be different depending on the vertices of the object here this is just a simple sphere and the sphere is not the shape of the sphere is not changing over time all right um, so now actually if I refresh the render there is no motion blur uh, you cannot get uh, a motion blur preview with the default camera for, from cinema 4d with octane you need to create an octane camera I mean a camera with an octane tag and you must go to the motion blur tab here 
and activate the motion blur with the enable function if I refresh still nothing because I must set the aperture time the shutter time of the camera uh, the camera will will take some milliseconds to take the picture and something can move on the scene while the shutter of the camera is opened so um, with a 25 frame per second scene the maximum um, shutter time should be 0 0.04 milli uh, 0 0.04 uh, seconds so I can refresh my scene and go back one frame and uh, forward one frame nothing happens here just a simple thing in fact the camera has been created but the camera is not active yet uh, the camera has been created from the default camera view so they are at the same position but you must activate the camera here reload the scene and now as you can see the motion blur is active but uh, it's calculating a straight line between uh, the previous frame which is 0 0.04 seconds from this one uh, to the the actual frame the frame before and the actual frame so this is a straight line um, you can get something better if you just control D go to the project settings and use let's say a 100 frame per second animation now you will get something better but uh, calculating 100 uh, frame per second when you only need 25 can be uh, really uh, um, consuming in time so let's go back to 25 frames per second uh, the real option is to use the um, settings the octane render settings here on the render settings um, the motion blur should be turned off full motion blur that means you will get the motion blur from the camera motion and full mo motion blur you will get the camera motion and the objects motion inside the camera view and this is the parameter you are looking for this is the time sampling the time sampling per frames if you just uh, multiply the time sampling by 5 it will divide the the position uh, it will uh, interpolate the position of the object uh, between the actual frame and the previous frame and it will be divided by 5 so now if I make a, a picture viewer render as you can see the motion blur is now correct and you can uh, go forward some pictures as you can see it's okay now that's it so i hope this will help and uh, subscribe for more tips and uh, give me a thumb up if you like it thumb down if you don't like give me a comment if you want me to uh, talk about a uh, special subject and see you soon thanks a lot bye